Hello, in this video, I'm going to uh, uh, show you how to graph this quadratic equation, which is y is equal to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So, as you saw in the last video, for any quadratic equation, this is a quadratic equation, uh, you have three critical points. One is the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the vertex. So I generally call this the y-form, okay, the y-intercept form. Now, why do I call this y-intercept form? The reason being, by only looking at this, I can tell the y-intercept. How do I know that? Okay. I know that the y-intercept would be this negative 3. Now, how do I know that? I know y-intercept is, get the y-intercept, when which value is 0. Okay, think about it. y-intercept you get when x is equal to 0. Okay, so we know that. So if x is equal to 0, this, this will become 0. You understand? 2 times 0 squared is 0. And this would also become 0. So you can basically ignore these two. So the y-intercept is negative 3. Okay? So let me write that as a coordinate. That is 0, negative 3 is a y-intercept. The next is the vertex form. That is where we may have to do maximum work. So this is your vertex form. I want to write in the vertex form. Now to write in the vertex form, what I would like to do is I want to factorize this two out. I don't like, I don't want this two sitting with. Uh, so let me write the equation, the equation that is y is equal to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Okay, let me scroll down. So, if I factor out factor out this 2, it should be x squared. Basically, you're doing half of this. What is half of 5? 2.5, so 2.5x. And half of 3 is negative 1.5. How will you check? 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 2.5 is negative 5x. And 2 times negative 5 is negative 1.5 is 3. So, the next step would be 2 times, i put a bigger bracket here, x squared minus 2.5x. I'm going to write as a perfect square. So, what do we mean by perfect square? I'm only looking at these two terms, okay? So, let me bring back my thin pen. Uh, I like the thin pen. So, which color was I using? This color, I think so. Yeah, okay, so here we go. So yeah, so this is equal to, okay, yeah. So x squared minus 2.5x, then I have to do the half of negative 2.5. Okay, half of negative 2.5 is, yes, that is minus 1.25. Okay, so 1.25 squared, and then I've added negative 1.25, so to add, take away, sorry, I've added 1.25, so I have to take away that much number. So this is negative 1.25 squared. I've added that. Then I'll take away negative 1.25 squared. And then I have got a negative 1.5 sitting here. Let me make this a bit thicker. I don't like this thin. Okay, so this is what I wanted. I think this is the color that I used. Okay. So this is equal to, okay, let me write a bit lower. Let me scroll down this. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is equal to 2 bracket. So this has become a perfect square, okay, of x minus 1.25 squared. So that is x minus 1.25, the whole squared. Now minus, if you square minus 1.25, you can, I'll, I'll 
we'll check that in the calculator. That would be minus 1.5625. Okay, I'll do that. And then you've got a minus 1.5 sitting here. So let us do that on the calculator. So this is our calculator menu. And uh, you've got your graph. Sorry, you have to go to run and type in bracket minus 1.25 squared. I don't know off my head. That is one point plus one. This minus is already here. So minus uh, 1.5625. Okay. So let me bring my pen tool back. So this is equal to two times. I'll rewrite this. X minus 1.25 squared minus minus 1.5625 minus 1.5 is minus 3.0625 okay so let me scroll down a little uh, yeah so this is equal to two bracket okay so now this is uh, sorry I'm going to expand I'm going to bring back this two so when you bring back this two so two times uh two times so this will be two times x minus 1.25 squared i'm going to multiply two with 3.0625 that will give me minus 6.125 now how did i know that so what i've done is two times Three or negative or negative three point zero six two five is six point one two five. So let us I'll show you on the calculator. Always go good to check your working. Okay. So this is menu run. So what did I say? Minus one point five six two five minus one point five. So I'll minus one point five six two five minus 1.5 that is minus 3.0625 uh, okay now so let me scroll down a little so now this has become or this is a vertex form okay so what's the vertex you don't worry about the two there so the vertex is vertex should be this vertex is as I told you in the previous video to set this equal to zero if you set this equal to zero what would be the value of x? Okay. So your vertex would be 1.25 comma minus 6.125. It's difficult to plot, but we will confirm this in the calculator. So in the exam, the teacher is not looking at the beauty of your graph. They are only looking at how the sketch only. Okay. So let me scroll up. So this is the vertex. So let me give frame this in a wonderful color okay i will continue in the next video so thank you very much